Makers. It's author April Jones Prince. I'm here today to show you how to make an accordion book. Um, these are really cool and great for gifts and just for fun. Um, like an accordion, the pages go back and forth and back and forth. And you can fill the pages with um, poetry or photos or sketches or any treasures that you might have. So um, here's how you're going to go about making it. If you have a big piece of paper, that's fantastic. This is 12 by 18, but you can also make them if you just have printer paper, like eight and a half by 11, your book's just gonna end up smaller. So you need your piece of paper. You're gonna need a pair of scissors, a glue stick, something for your cover. So cardstock works really well. And then if you wanna put a ribbon or tw twine around it, um, you can have that handy. I'm gonna use twine today and make a little bit of a rustic book. Um, but here's how we do it. Okay, so you're gonna take your paper and I usually um, fold it in half the long way. This is called the hot dog fold. Um, and then I'm gonna cut it down the middle. So I wanna make two long strips. So cut it like that. Okay, so I've got two long strips. I'm gonna put them together, line them up. Okay, then I'm going to fold the long way, so both sheets are like this. Then I will take both sheets, like if I open it up, I'm going to take both sheets and fold it back the other way, flip it over, and do the same thing. So basically you're making your zigzags. So I've got two sheets of paper that are both zigzagged. Now, I could just um, I could just use one of these and make two separate books, but if I want to have more pages, I can glue them together. So if you just take one and glue the last page, put glue on the last page, and then line it up with the next one, basically one page is going to overlap. So now you've got a longer accordion book, and sometimes you have to fold the pages back the opposite direction if they're not folded right. So you have your accordion here. Then if you want to use a cover, I just take that and I'm going to fold it in half again. I might just make a little crease um, just so I know where to cut. Actually, maybe I'll fold the whole thing. And then I'll take my scissors again. Cut this in half because one will be your front cover and one will be your back cover. Okay. So the one that's gonna be your back cover, that's where you wanna insert the ribbon if you wanna do that. So my cover, this whole piece is like uh, six and a half by 10 or so. So I cut that in half and my ribbon is about 25 inches. I'm gonna put that like eyeball it and put the middle right there, okay? So that goes across the back of your cover. And then you can glue the rest of it and you'll put your pages in. So just push your pages down. And then this page is gonna get glued into your front cover. So put some glue on there, take your front cover, put that on, and get it nice and flat. And then you have, you're gonna wanna let it dry of course, but you have your basic accordion book and you can take your uh, ribbon or twine and tie it up into an awesome little package for um, recording, I said, like your thoughts, your poems, memories. Um, it's, it makes a fantastic gift. It's kind of like an extra um, a card plus, right? So you can use the writing across the poem in it, all kinds of different things you can do. So um, I hope you enjoy. Thanks for making books with me today and I'll see you soon. Bye.